Hi, today I want to show you how to use the new Google Photos API in Event Gallery. The old integration will stop working at the end of the year, so it's time for something new. To get started, we have to do three different steps. First, we create a new application. For that, we go to developers.google.com, go to the Google API console and start creating a new project. So somewhere on the page you will find a new project button, just hit it, give the project a name which means something to you and hit the create button. The creation will take some time, seconds, and after this is done, just open your new project. In the next step, we will enable the new Photos API. Just search for Photos, click it, click on Enable and you enabled this API for your project. Let's go to the main page again and let's create some credentials. We want to create OAuth credentials. To do that, we have to configure the consent screen first. So what we have to do is we have to put in the name of the application You will see this later on if Google asks you for contents if you want to really give rights for your account to this application. Then we have to add the authorized domain, hit enter afterwards. This is the domain your website is running on and just hit the save button. So we create our credentials for a web application. Just give a name to the client credentials we create now. Doesn't matter very much. What matters is the um, hosts we can use to access uh, this application. So I put in my main site and I put in some uh, URLs to my uh, test environment so I can test all those things on my local system. In this case, I put in localhost for my local system and I have an alias for my test environment like eg.test. Then I save it and we are pretty much done with the credentials creation. Now we need to add those credentials to Event Gallery. Log into your backend and go to Event Gallery. Open the Google Photos Accounts page and click the new button to add a new account. Enter a name and the credentials we got in this previous step. Then we can click the Save button. Now we can add the Google Refresh token. So click the green button, then click the blue button and the Google window will open where you can choose your account. There will be a warning because the project you created is not verified by Google. So they warn you because it tries to access your data. Just confirm and you see that your Refresh token is stored there. Hit the Save button and that's all for creating the Google account in Event Gallery. The final step is to create an event which uses Google Photos. Just go to the Events Management page and click the New button. From the drop-down, just choose Google Photos. And now we select the account we created a second ago and click the Album Selector button. Now we see all the albums which are available within that account. Select one, like this one. That's it. Now we give it a title. And we add it to a category because it's easier to find later on. And we publish it. That's it. We hit the save button. Event is created. Now we have to verify that everything worked as expected. We go to the front end and we open one of those menu items. There we have a subcategory, Google Photos. We click on it and the first album we see is the one I added. So we go in there and see if all the images are there. Yes, they are. And as we can see, the light box works as well. We have to keep some limitations of the new integration in mind. First of all, Google limits the number of requests to this API to 10k requests per day. This sounds a lot, 
but it is not. So have a look at the monitoring of your application and make sure you don't exceed those numbers of requests. The second thing is the caching got really hard. With the old implementation I was able to cache for 24 hours or even longer. With the new one the maximum caching time is about half an hour to make sure that all the images or all the image links are still valid. So expect more requests to the Google API than before. And the third thing is actually a good thing. Since you created your own Google application, you no longer need to connect to my application to see your Google stuff, which is actually great. So have fun with the new integration. Thanks for watching. Bye.